Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're gonna take you through the order process of a press to shop store. We're gonna show you what happens when a customer takes your order and submits it, and then the order is gonna come through in the back end, and we're gonna be able to change the status and move it along from, from received to prepared to shipped to delivered. So keep watching, we're gonna show you that right now. So we've created products, we've created price rules, we've set up shipping, all sorts of stuff. Let's get into the process of actually putting an order through and what that's like as both a customer and a store manager. So we have our order summary here. I'm already signed in with the user account with my address and everything. So let's come down here and as you can see, I have a fake address in here, so don't attempt to uh, use this information, it's all fives. So let's go ahead and click proceed to checkout. And it's making sure your delivery and billing address are correct. And now let's proceed to checkout again. It's going to give you the shipping information. So I'm going to use this table rate shipping. And then I'm going to click agree to the terms and service and then proceed to checkout. Okay, now that I've done this, we now have our final order screen that we can make sure everything is fine. We have a little discount here. We have our total of 7166 after tax and shipping. Let's go ahead and select pay by check. Since I don't wanna actually put in any information here, I'm actually just going to select pay by check so that the order goes through without me having to actually pay any money. Okay, now it's telling me, yeah, here's the details of paying by check. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm my order. Okay, your order has been complete. Here it tells you to make the check payable to, and since we don't have this actually configured, it's not um, necessarily a real uh, statement here. But that's okay because we really just wanted to see what happens when this order comes in. So as a store owner, on your dashboard, you would get a notification in your cart. And we click on this, you can see that there's a new order by Scott Talinsky, order number eight for 7166, and it was placed a few seconds ago. So it'll even tell you when it was placed. And even from here, you can see all of your orders. Also, we have here in our activity overview, currently pending orders one. So since we have one currently pending order, let's see how we can get it out of pending and actually move this order along. We have a currently pending order. Let's click orders here, and it's gonna take you to our order screen. Here we have some helpful information like abandoned carts, conversion rates, average order value, uh, net profit per visit, and we have a listing of all of our orders that we can actually filter by. We can search for a various ID by typing it in here and then clicking search. And you can see that we have a lot of options here to get our, our order information and drill down and find a particular order. So as you can see here, our latest order uh, was set by payment by check and is awaiting check payment. Let's go ahead and select this order and see how we can move this along. Let's say we've received the check or we have received the payment, so uh, we would like to push this to the next step. You can see here we have all of our order information. You can see here we have all of our orders information um, and you can even see what's last happened to it. Uh, basically the order is at zero pounds. It would tell us the pounds here. It's even gonna show you a little bit of map where this person's address is. Since I have a fake address, I'm, uh, it's really just giving me the general area of this zip code because this, this doesn't exist, but um, it will give you a nice little map and allow you to see where your package is actually going to. And same with the invoice address. Now we can come down here and see there's been no payments made on this. Uh, so since they have paid with check, we're going to want to change that. Let's scroll all the way back up here where it says awaiting check payment. We wanna change this status so we can say payment accepted. You could also have remote payment accepted, but let's just say a payment uh, came in and it's been accepted. This way you want your staff to know or maybe you just wanna know for future uh, that this product has been paid for but it hasn't been shipped yet. So let's select payment accepted and click update status. Okay, as you can see, we now have this green payment accepted by Scott Talinsky on this certain date. 
That way, if other people are looking at this order, they can always come back and see that this payment has already been accepted. And furthermore, if we scroll down to payment, you'll see that a payment by check with the amount of 7166 has been added to our order. And we didn't have to do that, it just did it automatically when we accepted payment. Great, so now let's say the payment's been accepted and uh, an employee of yours is packaging this up to ready to be delivered, we can now actually move this into uh, preparation in progress. So let's click update status. And now it's in progress, as in the order is getting ready to get shipped out. Now keep in mind you can skip to any one of these statuses from any one of these other statuses. Let's say you just pretty much shipped it out immediately and you didn't have to prepare it at all. You can actually change this right to shipped. So now it's been prepared and we're going to come in select and say it's been shipped because we've sent it off. So let's go ahead and click update status it's been shipped. So now we want to add a tracking code to our order. Well, we have the shipping tab down here and it says that it's been shipped with table rate shipping and there's an edit button right here. We can click and add a tracking number right here. Uh, since I don't have one exactly, I'm just going to make up a number and click update. We now have a tracking number associated with this order. Now, depending on how you ship this, you can make sure that this order has been delivered. After this order has been delivered, we can go ahead and mark this as delivered and click update status. Now it's green, it says delivered, and the order is complete. So let's come back to orders. We can see that it is marked as delivered and our total is now highlighted in green stating that we've been officially paid. This transaction is complete. We can see our shipping slip or our invoice here or we can view the order. Now, as you can see, there's lots to do within the order page. We've gone over just some of it, but we're mostly changing our statuses based on the status of what's happening with the product. Now, this isn't an automated process. We have to go ahead and mark this as shipped when it's shipped. And that's what's going to let our customer know that this product is in the mail. That way, they're not wondering if their product is going to arrive or when it's going to arrive, and they'll get notified that their product has shipped. So we've now completed our order process. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Facebook, or Twitter at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.